this is my main server which does everything. Uh, so this is a Windows based server running on an old uh, third generation Intel platform. Uh, it's got an E1270 V2 CPU, uh, 8 gigs of RAM and something that's not very good and that's the two 4 terabyte drives providing 8 terabytes of completely non-redundant storage. That's not what you want to see. This is running a uh, Windows Software RAID uh, striped. So, uh, yeah, one of those drives die, I lose everything. Now, I dare run like this because I run daily backups on a different machine. Every single bit out of those drives is backed up every single day. So, if they do fail, uh, that's not it's not a huge issue to restore the data, but it is, of course, a bother. And as of recently, uh, these drives have been getting a bit full due to my excessive data hoarding. Uh, so, we have some new stuff on the way, uh, and some has already arrived, including this uh, uh, identical server motherboard. Uh, so, this is an Intel uh, 1200BTS uh, Micro ATX server board, uh, LGA 1155 platform, of course, accommodating uh, second and third generation uh, Core i something or Xeon CPUs. And uh, this is going to become our new NAS. So, I want to migrate away from the Windows platform this thing is using for the storage uh, and move on to a free NAS. Uh, platform uh, which allows me to run the ZFS which is a much more uh, redundant and safe uh, a file system with uh, excellent RAID capabilities. RAID Z uh, allows you to run RAID 5 in a much better way than uh, you would do through Windows software or what you get on your motherboard. Uh, so we actually have uh, five 3 terabyte drives on the way uh, which are going to accommodate all of the hot swap base on this server case. Uh, however, uh, that means that uh, I want to move this current server into something new because we're going to be running two servers. Uh, this is going to be the render server with all the horsepower running native Windows, uh, mostly for rendering my videos and for uh, running some uh, fun game servers and stuff like that stuff. That requires a bit more grunt, uh, but it's not going to have any storage to speak of. It's just going to have its single SSD uh, and that's going to be it. Perhaps a second SSD if I really feel like it. So uh, we have no more use for this giant server case for this server. Uh, this is going to this case is going to be for the FreeNAS uh, machine. So what we're going to do now is try and transplant our Windows server into in this case, so this is uh, the uh, stripped down uh, innards of a Fujitsu Siemens Micro ATX uh, desktop case, which I've uh, soundproofed for a different project, which turned out to become uh, no good. So this case has just been sitting around, and these are pretty nice cases. They uh, uh, are quite compact, just a two drive base and literally just the space to fit for pace. by the only way this could be small if we had no front drives and yeah we wouldn't want to have that anyway so i think this is going to be quite ideal for the render server uh, so uh, it's pretty much ready to go uh, we're gonna have to make some accommodations for drives temporarily since uh, I don't have a new drives for the NAS machine yet. Uh, this server is going to have to have uh, the current uh, 8 terabytes of storage for a while, and that means we're going to have to use two of these uh, rather crappy Chinese hot swap bays because uh, we actually can't fit uh, the drives in the uh, built in hard drive catty uh, spots because the cooler on these uh, 1200 BTS boards actually ends up right here. It's not in the usual ATX spot, so uh, yeah, we, we just wouldn't be able to fit for drives. Uh, but that's not a, a huge problem since the drives are going to be gone anyway. And once we've migrated all the data out, taking this thing out to remove the caddis afterwards is not going to be a huge deal since this is not going to be a storage server anymore, it's just going to be a software server basically.
Uh, so uh, let's just get to work. Uh, we need to take the old optical drive out. We don't need to install an OS since we already have that uh, on the old uh, stuff there that's uh, going to be getting transplanted. And uh, yeah, seeing what we can do about cooling this thing. Uh, because I'm all about quiet computers, uh, this thing is going to have to get some kind of intake fan. Uh, it's got, it does have a rather nice. Uh, uh, 92 millimeter exhaust it's going to have uh, another decent exhaust in the power supply coming out of that uh, but uh, i think an intake fan it might be a nice touch as well since the, the cpu is going to see heavy load from time to time but uh, let's start by just installing all the hardware and seeing uh, how well we can get this thing up and running all right we're getting somewhere uh, so uh, i've got the uh, hot swap base mounted these are absolutely horrifying for this style of case with just as the screws on one side uh, since there's nothing really holding them uh, uh, in place on the uh, and in this case uh, they're, they're not going to be in there very well but it's not a huge issue since my servers tend not to move around a lot uh, i've also uh, made a custom uh, front panel connector for, for the whole thing. Hopefully these are power LED and hard drive LED of a correct polarity. Uh, it's impossible to know that without uh, measuring it and I can't be bothered. I just put them in, in some polarity hoping they're gonna be right. Uh, so I've just cut up some pool noodle, cut uh, two slots in them. Just uh, they aren't actually uh, uh, d deep groove I just used a knife to slit twice that and then once in the middle here to accommodate the little thing we have in here which would otherwise make it fit a bit too tight and this one just uh, uh, slides in underneath roughly like so and uh, it can provide uh, a bit of airflow just uh, it's going to be breathing across uh, across the main board uh, I'm going to be using either a 5 volt supply or one of these uh, I think there's a 220 ohm resistor in series with the uh, power fan power supply I think it, they, these work well with uh, these uh, fractal fans and then I can hook this to a pin header on the motherboard and we can have uh, speed uh, monitoring on the fan as well we're going to have to see how much noise this rear fan makes if we're going to keep it or remove it. These are pretty good, but they're not super quiet. But uh, I know these main boards we're going to be using do go down to a really, really low PWM level uh, at idle. So it could be decent. Uh, we'll have to see. And uh, really, uh, all, the, all we need to do now is... Uh, test main to motherboard and see uh, how, how it's going to sound to determine uh, what fans we're going to use and if the adapters can begin any good and so forth so let's just get at it so we're, we're going to be putting in uh, this uh, uh, the actual NAS board which doesn't belong to this case for testing uh, since it's identical uh, everything's going to be absolutely identical uh, but this has a uh, uh, an i3-2120 processor instead of the uh, Xeon 1270v2 we have in uh, the main server so this is a much lower and lower power platform and there we have our test setup up and running and uh, indeed uh, the rear fan is going to have to go uh, because uh, out of all the fans in here including the somewhat loud power supply fan uh, it's by far the loudest if we bring the mic up to it You can hear that's a, a fair amount of noise coming from that compared to almost nothing from any of the other ones including the a cheaper power supply fan there So this guy is a gunner we're going to run without a rear exhaust fan, I do think, because uh, I, I, this is the lower end uh, system of a T, uh, but I did run a stress test on it. it the, the CPU barely gets warm, and this cooler is nowhere near as good as the one that's uh, actually in the uh, render server. So I don't think we're going to have any thermal issues in this system at all. Especially since we do have a 140 millimeter fan grabbing fresh outside air right there. Uh, oh, and I did make the effort of mounting a dust filter in the front. There. I just cut out some industrial uh, uh, glass fibery filter stuff uh, to a shape fitting 
uh, front of the case and uh, I use some double sided uh, tape uh, along the edges to just uh, mount it to the front here so it, this should be uh, pressed quite tight and nice up against the front it used to just vacuum off any dust uh, before it gets into the PC making maintenance a breeze we do have this nice large intake on this particular case which is quite discreet as well I really like the design of these uh, so that's going to be very good, there are no real air gaps anywhere uh, aside from what's along the lower edge of the side panel there but uh, I think uh, the front fan being 140mm uh, is going to be able to shove a bit more air than the power supply is taken out uh, the, the uh, production power supply has a very low revving uh, gentle type fuel in it so it doesn't have a lot of airflow going uh, so I, I think we're going to be able to maintain a very slight positive pressure inside here so we shouldn't have any dust getting in along the vents on the side. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it as far as uh, the test setup is concerned. Uh, oh, we're not getting rid of that fan connector. I did try running a hard drive in one of these caddies, it didn't get uh, super hot even though it was a 7200 RPM drive so I don't think I'm going to overheat my two, two ter my two 4 ter terabyte drives uh, going in there even though we basically don't have any airflow going through uh, the hard drive cases and indeed we don't have any airflow going through the hard drive cases in here either since that's a uh, sound proofed away. And if that isn't a sad sight, my beautiful NAS chassis, all depopulated hard drive caddies lying strewn on the ground like at the end of a great battle. Uh, but what's less sad is our populated, well, mini server. Uh, this thing really is tiny compared to the other one. Uh, so we have everything shoved in there. Uh, the two temporary hard drive caddies are completely destroying any chances from whatever good uh, wire management since I'm not going to bother uh, tying any of their SATA wiring up uh, since they're going to be removed uh, in just a few days. So once I get uh, the new NAS sorted out, this thing is not supposed to have any mechanical hard drives at all. It's just got its uh, SSD main to vine a little bracket which I had to tap and drill new holes in because the cheaper Chinese bracket of course didn't fit a standard floppy space. Uh, but yeah we should be pretty much ready to uh, put this thing back in service. Uh, uh, no drama anywhere. It's just uh, uh, assembled as it was. Hopefully this side plan is going to clear this rather tall 92mm cool bird. I think we're going to be fine. Even though we have some uh, insulation material on the case wall which is going to make it uh, bob down a bit. But yeah, I don't think it's going to be an issue. And if it presses down a little, uh, who cares. And there we have it, up and running. If we've, even with the LEDs working, polarity was right. Thankfully I forgot to check that. And we're running some stress tests. This thing is actually loaded down 100% right now. We can just about push it up to 100 watts if we really try with the uh, links running. Uh, full blast on all four cores with a huge problem size. So the CPU is sitting at, uh, what's that, a bait? Yeah, going up to 90 degrees, but that's fine. It's never going to see these loads uh, for real in the actual use and uh, that's actually the uh, thermal controller in the uh, on the Intel motherboard uh, setting it up to run that hot it really doesn't spin the fan up until it starts to get close to the maximum allowable processor temperature uh, so yeah not much we can do about that it's just the way these things are supposed to work so effort wise I can feel a nice draft going through the entire a front grill which is really nice that means our dust isn't going to just get focused like around the USB ports it's going to uh, grow a beard over time if it sits in a dirty room which it won't be and yeah I don't think now there's no airflow to talk about over the discs but that doesn't quite matter it's uh, not going to run it all that hot these are low RPM 5900 RPM drives so uh, they, they, they don't run hot by nature so yeah I'm just going to put this thing into service real for the time being and uh, wait for more parts to arrive for a proper NAS build where we're going to be putting, yeah, 
Wait, 500 euros worth of discs in this box, along with uh, that motherboard and some other fun stuff. Uh, it is somewhat amusing how the big professional server case is going to have an i3, whereas the uh, grammar computer actually has a Xeon. But yeah, that's what we did for this time. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, cheerio.